pass to Komet. Toss down after only one by Malcolm Jenkins. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, offense number 85. 15-yard penalty. It'll be third down. That's number 85's first foul toward ejection. Commits making an appeal that, wait a minute, it was Jenkins who was talking. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give him the ball. Yep. You can't give him the ball. See, that they thought he was throwing it at Jenkins, right? If he's throwing it to the ref, it's no big deal. But when you throw it at the other player, they're going to call it. Play clock here is at nine. Okay. Yeah, I'd have to. They got to reset that. That thing, that, it seemed like it was. Yeah, they're resetting it now. That was ugly. And a flag for a delay of game. Well, they might get and a false, false start either yeah. way. It doesn't I, matter. And I don't think Russell Wilson knew that they were resetting the play clock. So he, he yeah, so they're going to, I think that's the right thing because Russell was trying to get the ball snapped in a hurry. He got rushed. He didn't know that they false were resetting start. it. Well, offense, number 66. Yeah, now they're not going to reset the play clock in this situation because it was at 22 seconds with the injury. The injury with Lewis, so they're in the huddle with 22 seconds left on the play clock. And now watch as they're coming to the line. Referee John Hussey's calling for the play clock to be reset with that motion. And the punt is the result. Tad Hill looking left. One handed A.J. Brown. And there are no flags. Touchdown, Tennessee. Yeah, downfield, it's all about advantage. Does anybody create the advantage? I think this left hand creates the advantage to the defender there. Arm gets extended, creating the offensive pass interference. I would have a foul there. And now here he is trying to drive Washington down to tie Tampa Bay. Gibson trying to get to the edge, an outside run, only for three. Sean Murphy bunting coming across the field. Personal foul, horse collar tackle from the defense number 23. When that rule was first put in, then changed. Pulls him down. It and looks like Terry, it's hands in front. Yeah, if you're in an opening of the shoulder pad of the helmet, it's a call. But it looked like he was over the top of his shoulder there. Absolutely, Mike. He reached over it into the front of the of the runner and pulled him down. So that's a legal play. It should not have been a 15 yard penalty. Here's a second and goal. <laughs> Breeze taken down back at the 20. Holding defense number 22. That's half the distance of the wow. goal line. It'll be an automatic first down wow. for New Orleans. For Bears fans, this is a tough one because this team's so good in the red zone. And, and you're okay with the initial one. Ah, oh, that's. I don't know. We would have to see the yards on, you know, how many yards was downfield, but I didn't hate that right there. That's a bang bang call. He's trash away. He's so good. He seemed drop it nose down. Take it tough to catch for Jaden Mickens. And Mickens has to let it go. And it's down inside the 10 yard line there. This was called a touchback. I bring it Terry McCauley. Explain why, please. So by rule, when the kicking team player recovers the football on a kick, it's dead. But if he carries it into the end zone, it becomes a touchback. Now, that's normally when the play is down, the player's trying to down it. It's not, th it's, it's common sense that tells you it should have been applied on this play, though. Rivers uncorks it. Sliding grab made at the 45. Pascal loses the football, and the Bills jump on it with White. And I agree with Charles. Look, Zach Pascal goes down on his own, but he's not giving himself up. So now he gets up off of the ground, not touched down by contact. In my opinion, I believe this is a fumble, guys. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Buffalo is not charged a timeout. Third and seven. What a tackle. Ball's out. And it's scooped up by the Saints. It's Malcolm Jenkins to the end zone for the touchdown. Williams getting down there. Yeah, is it a catch? Is it enough yeah, there to it, rule it, it a catch? 
Burns are the the football move. Move. It's an incomplete pass. Be fourth down. Oh. Please reset the game clock to 421. Ruling on the field is incomplete pass. For it to be a catch and alas, a fumble. From the After possession review, to the turn. Ruling on the field but I think it's just bang, bang. Be fourth complete. down. Come the Heineke pass is incomplete. Sims wants the flag on Carlton Davis. No flag coming. It's fourth down. Carlton Davis, good inside position. He's going to try to come through. He is a little bit early. It's bang bang, but it is early. There's the snap. Jackson to his right. Little pass and Dobbins. A flag comes in. You heard the roar from the crowd. Pass interference. Offense. Number 83. He does get his feet set, but with the shoulder, goes into that defender, creating the pick, the rub, which opens up that space for the forward pass beyond the line of scrimmage. That's what John said as well. <laughs> <laughs> Start the second quarter with a second and 11 for the Saints. That pass up in the air. And did he come under it? In time, it looks like he did. Shelley has it. And what a great job by Jackson getting his hand in there. Actually, who got his hand on there? It was 38, I believe. Gibson did. Watch Shelley the nose of the football here, I think he caught it. This has been a lengthy review. Gene Steratore, it's close. That ball seems to kind of bounce up a little bit, though, after this point right here. What do you think? I agree, Jim. Initially, the hands are on, on the uh, kind of underneath, but we have that brief moment where the ball relieves the hands and the ball bounces freely. I think they'll go incomplete on this as well. After review, the tip of the football hit the ground. It's an incomplete pass. It'll be third down for the Saints. Jimmy Graham on the field here on first down, and Trubisky launches it. Beautiful pass, and it is pulled down by Wims. Talking about it at the 40, and now they say incomplete. They say incomplete. Oh, that does, it looks complete to me. I don't see anything don't incomplete where, there. I know the ball eventually the came field, out. The discussion is an incomplete pass. After review, it was a catch. It'll be first down for Chicago. But that would have been the fourth. And now here's the play. Let's get back to this. This is big. He's over the top, reaching over. They gave it to him. Touchdown. Right there, the nose of the football, did it touch that invisible plane? That's the only angle right there that gives you a chance to say you can't overturn it, right? That's as far as he extended it, and if you look, it's hard for me I thought I saw a lace across. to overturn. After review, the ball was short of the goal line. Oh. It'll be first and ten for Chicago after a turnover on downs. Third and 11, Rivers hangs in the pocket, floats it, sideline, and a sliding attempt. T.Y. Hilton, he brings it in cleanly for a first down. And the officials, are they've congregated on the sideline. One called it incomplete, but his partner called him up and said, hey, I think I get a different look at it. And to your call, oh, right no. there, I mean, it's incomplete. It would have been a catch if the ball goes into his hand, but Micah Hyde makes a nice play on the ball. It goes behind T.Y. Hilton. That ball's on the ground. Has to be incomplete. Well, they might have been talking about something else in terms of the flag. The Colts move forward as if they spotted the football. Officials did a good job of getting together to discuss what they had to discuss, but there's no way that that ball was caught. Interesting, you have the shadows working along certain portions of the field, and that can throw off your view. And as an official, they came over to chat about it. This one wasn't even close. Look at that. Went right through Micah Hyde's hands, 23. He had a chance to intercept it. Went right through him. And then to the back of T.Y. Hilton with Hyde falling on top. So maybe the ball got obscured there from the vision of the officials.